Guys, if you follow me, you know that I promised as of New Year's my resolution was going to be to post more often. Um, and I've been thinking that video or vlogs would be the best way to do that. But then I never do it because I'm always concerned about uh, not wearing makeup and you know I have to do that and do my hair and all this stuff. So here it is. Here is my I need a haircut. I'm not wearing any makeup. This is what I look the nitty gritty me. And the reason why I decided to do that today is because um, I'm going to test out a product that my friend uh, gave me and it was just kind of like a Valentine's promotional that she was doing and um, she is one of those uh, Rodan and Fields um, consultants. Well, I'm an Arbonne girl and I like to use Arbonne products um, but I'm willing to try out other things and just to see what uh, what's good about them and what I like about them. Um, now, Rodan and Fields is made by the makers of Proactive and I use Proactive back in the day, but now as I get older, I'm more concerned about chemicals in my body and, um, you know, we're trying to have more children and I don't really want to be taking things chemically, uh, topically on my skin that will soak in and get into my system and, um, you know, transfer that to uh, an infant. Um, so I'm a little hesitant to use this product because it is more chemically based than the Arbonne, which is uh, their uh, their uh, logo or slogan, I should say, is pure, safe, beneficial, and I have no idea what Rodan Fields logo or slogan is, um, but I hear it works. So maybe that's their slogan. Yeah, it works. So I'm willing to try it just to try it, and I am not currently with child, so um, I'll give it a go. And then my friend's name is, if you can see it. It is Jennifer Wirtz, and that's her contact info. If you want to know more about Rodan Fields um, and their cool stuff, the product I'm going to try out today is this Rodan Fields Microderm Abrasion Paste. Okay, so derm abrasion is the only way that you can make real significant difference in your skin's um, visibility, the way it looks, the way it, it feels. But microdermabrasion is not the same as dermabrasion. Now dermabrasion is something that you would have to get from a dermatologist or a specialist. So um, this won't give you like forever lasting results, but you will or should look better initially when you do it. Now I'm trying to squeeze out this paste while I'm talking to you. And it says that you should use the whole package uh, on your face and if you want a more significant result to do it with a dry face so I oops so I haven't washed my face and I probably want a headband on get these bangs out of the way so that I don't get junk in my hair oops okay now already it's kind of like a sugar scrub but it has some sort of like a lotion like texture in it <laughs> and, um, my child is walking around behind me Ooh, hey okay so I'm gonna try this out and let's see what you think uh, this is what I look like I have oh well and the lighting here is not that super duper but you can see I have uh, some pregnancy veil from having my baby, and there's nothing that this is going to do about that. Um, I have some unevenness to my skin tone, and I know I have you know, dry skin and stuff around my mouth, and definitely on my lips, which I'm also going to test out a lip derm abrasion uh, product that they have. So let's try this out. Okay. So now you're supposed to do this for like a minute. So hopefully I will fast forward this so you don't have to sit here and listen to me talk while I'm doing this for a minute. Okay, 
So I have thoroughly exfoliated, put this all over the place. And one thing I notice about it is, yeah, it's it's like a you know any other sugar scrub that you would do. I'm gonna sugar scrub my hands as long as I'm at it. Um, but it has some sort of kind of a citrusy, but not uh, smell to it. So there's something else in this. Like it's not just a an oil carrier. It's there's some kind of like a lotion like carrier. Um, so it's more than just what I would make from my natural products. Now, I have a little water here. I'm going to rinse my face and see how it feels after the fact. So now she gave me these little um, containers that are supposed to be like a serum. So I do a serum with Arbon. So I'm going to try this out. I'm kind of interested in to see what the difference is. Now, as I was rinsing my face from the other, I have to say, I definitely um, felt softer skin. Wow, actually. Maybe I need to uh, exfoliate more often. Because <laughs> it definitely feels a lot softer. Um, the serum is going on and it feels like a little bit goes a very long way. I probably didn't need to use this entire package. And you can see how small this little package is and if I didn't even need to use that much, then this stuff would last you a really long time, I would think. Okay, now, gosh, it feels nice and smooth. I'm a little concerned with how well this will absorb into the skin. Um, and my hands feel a little greasy but my face doesn't really feel that greasy. Hmm. So I think it just, you have to like let it sit and let it absorb. Um, now, I was gonna use the lip product and if you can tell, my lips are kinda hit up. So let's try this out. This is the Rodan and Fields, Fields Enhancement uh, Lip Derm Abrasion. So you rub this on. Ah, there we go. It doesn't really say how long or what to do for this one. Okay, but then you either um, wash it off or rub it off on a tissue. I'm going to use a little wet towel here. Hmm. Well, it didn't rock my world. It's all right. I'm going to keep using this though and I'll let you know and see if it is a marked improvement over time. Okay. So I'm going to try to use, this is like a where it is. This is a um, serum for your lips. I'm going to try that out. Feels like putting on lip gloss. Mm. The sticky factor, not that sticky, but it's not like a nude lip. Um, but not, I've had worse lip glosses, that's for sure. So my overall impressions is the lip product so-so, but my skin actually feels pretty darn fantastic right now. So I'm kind of curious as to how it will look um, over the next couple days. So check it out. I don't know that you guys can really see it all that much, but um, I'm going to figure out some sort of better lighting situation for these videos. But, hey, you just saw me without my makeup on, looking all freaky deaky, so it only can go up from here. Yeah. So, uh, until my next vlog, I'll see you guys later, and uh, take care. Bye.